HTML5 and CSS tutorials for beginners. Tools you may use. Now, although I've shown you in the introduction video as to you can just use Notepad, basic Notepad in Windows program to actually create your web pages and learn about HTML and CSS. But when working, you know, creating web pages or websites, you want to learn at least to speed up the process. So therefore, there are tons of programs, some open source like Notepad++. It's good to download or at least explore. I'll show you what the program looks like. As you can see, it is rather very powerful, but there are a lot of options. So if you're beginning and looking at that thinking, oh, you know what? All these things I need to learn, all that, don't be overwhelmed. The reason you would want to utilize Notepad++ is because it's color coded. And when you're creating web pages and learning HTML, color coded um, tags are great. It actually helps a lot. So there is another one, Dreamweaver. This is perhaps if you're thinking of having a career in web development, it's smart to invest in professional programs like Dreamweaver. If you're studying, depending on where you're studying, you may get discounts. Simply go to Adobe Dreamweaver. Currently, they have subscription plans on a monthly basis. Perhaps you may subscribe for a month and at least utilize this powerful program. And although not needed, you can utilize XAMPP, which I will show you how to install an Apache web server in the coming video tutorial. XAMPP is a straightforward process. You can utilize it for Windows as well. So that's another tool for you to consider. And let's continue learning HTML5 and CSS and CSS3 in the coming video tutorial sessions. And I'll talk with you in the next video session.